Hey there, Floss Tube. Welcome back to my channel. I've got something exciting today. Uh, if you're new here, I'm Trisha. This is Three Owl Threads. This is my YouTube channel where I talk about cross stitch and other things that I'm interested in. If you're returning, thanks. I appreciate it as always, especially since I'm kind of erratic these days. So welcome back. Thank you. Get a drink, get your stitching, settle in, because I'm here to do a whip down slash ditch the stitch. That's right, just like Bendy Stitchy has done before me, just like Emily from Eclectic Possessions has done before me, and Kellyanne, I'm here for it because it's a mess. So we're filming in my bedroom. I'm glad you can't see. To my left, I have a bra hanging up here drying. To my right, I have a whole lot. And behind here is my closet. Hmm. But as far as you know, everything looks fine. It doesn't look fine. Drinking some Starbucks cold brew in my Peixoto cup. Eh? Michelle, Mitch Stitch, you're going to be wanting this soon. I know it's getting warm in your area, right? Cold here, warm there. Yes. Okay, so I'm taking another drink and we're going to get started. I have a huge plastic container full of whips as well as my active whip basket. So we're going to go through them all and I can already think of at least half a dozen that I'm going to get rid of already. So these are the game rules. Well, you're watching, so you can't really insert yourself. Um, anything that I'm getting rid of, don't ask for, because I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. There's that. I don't have anything I think really highly sought after, so it's not that exciting. But if I decide to get rid of stuff, I'll let you know, or how I plan on getting rid of it. There's so much going on here. All right, one more drink. It's Friday. Did I say that? It's Friday, October 11th. Today is my cousin's birthday. She doesn't cross stitch, but if she's watching, happy birthday, Jen. I don't think she's watching, but heck, you never know, right? It's YouTube. People watch YouTube. In fact, I haven't even sent her a text yet today. I'm a terrible cousin, but I love you. Okay. I'm also tired. Did I say that? Tired, because it's like 7.30 at night. 7.50. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, first on the pile, this is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Mysterious Halloween Town. Haven't touched this in a long time. I don't think that I have stitched on this since last October, actually. Maybe longer. I don't know. Um, I bought it as a kit. So it is on, I think, Crystal Wren. Is that what this is on? I know I bought it as a kit from the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And I don't... Oh, yep. Crystal Wren. So smart. I have feelings about this. It's pretty cute and I've already completed the mysterious Christmas town so I feel like not completing this would be terrible but I mean it's only like halfway done we'll keep it we're gonna keep it it'll go into the keep pile What's going to be my keep pile? We'll make a pile on the right keep pile. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. Okay. This next one is... Just closed it. 
Heartstring Samplery's um, Cross Stitch Nation. I started this for Mania, I don't know, a couple years ago. And I'm stitching it on 32 count Ships Manor in Mummy Wraps, which I love. And this is as far as I've gotten. I think the last time I stitched on this was StitchCon 2017. No, 18. 18 was the first year. And I took this as a project. Yep, that's it. But the fabric is fabulous. And I do like it. Do I like it? I'll keep it. That one, uh, I probably have to work on it again to see. I'm going to keep it because I really like that fabric. This one is the Frosted Pumpkin Woodland Sampler from 2015. I don't think I have a picture of what it's going to look like all the way, but you'll recognize it when I show you my whip. I'm not keeping this. This is stitched on 16 count Dirty Ada. I'm pretty sure I got it from 123 Stitch a long time ago. It's one of the first cross stitch patterns. I think I bought when I started cross stitching again one of the first this is as far as I've gotten I did make a couple switches I used silver Krynik I think for the stars which are super twinkly and cute uh, this is the first needle binder I ever purchased from I think I don't know where it was from. I don't remember. I think it was Minding My Minders a long, a long time ago. Um, and this is a silk that I was using because I was getting fancy and subbing stuff out. Um, but I'm going to let this one go. It's not the fact that it's on Ada that doesn't bother me, but what am I going to do with it? I, I feel like there are... There are things that I stitch that I love that I don't know what I'm going to do with, and then there are things that I stitch that I like, and I really don't know what I'm going to, what am I going to do with that? So that one's got to go. One down. Just fair warning, I have over 50 whips. I don't know how many. I have a lot. I have a lot. Um, this is... Peacock Sampler by Sub Rosa Designs. I do not have the cover sheet for it, so uh, you're not going to know what it looks like because I don't want to edit that much. So you can search for it on Etsy. That's where I purchased it. I'm, I'm stitching mine on 40 count Grandpa's, nope, 40 count Grandma's Slip, I believe, from XJU Designs. I'm using the called four weeks dye works. This is all that I have. I started this quite a while ago and I do still love it. So I'm going to keep it and vow that I need to work on it. Um, 40 count. So I'm stitching it. Oof, I'm stitching it one over two. It's a tight 40 count though. So it's a little hard to see. When I started this, I wasn't wearing cheaters. I, that would never fly these days. But I'm going to keep that one. This, this is the Full Moon Sal by the Primitive Needle. I already know that I'm giving this one up. I purchased this. I don't know why I purchased this. I purchased it off Etsy. It's a download. Let me find a couple of the pictures. 
So I actually have completed that one. So there's a couple. There's a couple. There's a couple. And there are more and more. Um, I was stitching them all together because that's how it was meant to be on this humongous piece of Old Salem linen. 30 count from Isabel herself. This is all I have done. Uh, it's stitched in DMC. I like this. I don't like it enough to make a whole huge thing. What I will do though is probably unpick this part and cut this out and make it like an ornament. And um, I'll go through the other ones and maybe I'll do them one at a time as smalls. But as far as this big project, this, this has to go. It has to go. So that's a give up. empty. <laughs> this I gave up a long time ago and then I, I got kind of excited about it again because Donna finished it I think. Donna are you the one who finished this? Am I, is this upside down? Here let me do it this way. This is a dimensions kit. Uh, it is mason jar lineup. One of the first dimensions kits that I bought. I bobbinated all the floss, the directions are here, the chart is here, the Ada is here. Like seriously, this is what I have done. <laughs> no. Nope, this isn't happening. So this is a give up. Like I love it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. If someone wants to stitch it for me, that would be great. But other than that, I just can't. It's a give up. It's a give up. Three. Three. Bite the dust. That is kitted. I have stuff that I've been meaning to start also in here. And those are all kitted. This is Panoply of Peacocks. Oh, I already gave up on it. Panoply of Peacocks. Here's the floss. I was stitching it on a piece of um, that Hobby Lobby crap even weave. Fight me. It's crap. And I was doing it one over one and I decided um, It was several months ago. I just got rid of it and I was like, no, I'm not doing that. But you know what? I don't, I don't want that chart anymore. Nope. Um, that's empty. Those are just charts. Oh, I need to start that. Um, this is a Mill Hill buttons and beads. See, <laughs> I'll do that. So this is uh, cut flowers in mason jars. I've started it. I think it goes like this. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. There's some backstitch, but not really, but I think it's cute. I do think I've messed it up already. But the cool thing about Mill Hills, if you don't know this, this is my little tidbit. I'm, I'm hardly a professional, but this is my tidbit. Bead as you go. Bead first. Who cares? The holes in perforated paper are so thick that... You can do it. You can do it. Uh, oh, this is, this is the Guardians of Notre Dame by, um, 
Ingleside Imaginarium. And I sure have not worked on this at all. And I need to because I like it. Oh, Brittany, stitch this for me. I've, I screwed it up somewhere here in the middle and it just really disappointed me. Even though I'm like off by a line or something and it really, in the grand scheme of things, I don't think it matters. But I'm disappointed in myself and I just haven't picked that back up. But I'm going to. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep this one because I can't. I can't not. So. Some things you just have to hold on to because you love the people that designed them. And then you have to put your big girl panties on and figure out where you made your mistake. Right? Right. Okay. This is not started. Don't worry about that. Oh, I know what this is. This is the Fabulous Women Stitch Along by... Uh, I know you're saying it out loud. Cloud's Factory. And nope, I didn't end up liking it. I liked some of them. I didn't like all of them. I got the first clue done. It's a whole lot to frog. Uh, what am I going to do? Piece, it's a large piece of fabric and I don't know what this is what is the fabric does it say beads for cocoa I've even written notes on what I wanted to do uh, whimsy picture this plus whimsy I bought the kit no thanks it's a give up It's a give up. I don't like it. Some of the extra women that came out, um, I like though. So I will probably do some of the standalones, but not the whole piece. Not the whole piece. This is. Are you guys keeping count? My eyes are getting tired already. This is Blackbird Designs, Home for the Holidays, and this is the uh, Tis the Season Stitch Along. What's this bird on the back? And I jumped on the Victorian Motto Sampler Shop threads. I am stitching mine on Ship's Manor Silvery Moon, which I love. And I am this far. You can already see I'm cutting my corners pretty tight. Is it serious? I think they were going to be super tight. Because that's just. Yeah, that's the whole tail. So, the body, the wing. My counting isn't... Ow! My counting isn't perfect on it either, but that's okay. Um, but I like it. I like it, so I'm going to keep it. Mm -hmm. I love that fabric with this design. So, it stays... I wish you guys could see my cat right now. She's so cute. She's laying on the bed and she's watching me. And if you've watched my Instagram stories at all, you've seen pictures of her, but she's like super duper shy. And she's just the sweetest little girl. That's all I have to say about that. Okay. Oh, we have not made a dent. We're gonna be here all night. Um. Oh, these haven't been started. This is my farmhouse Christmas. My first auto ship that I did with three owl threads. Oh. oh, I know I'm getting rid of this one too. 
So this is Bathy Threads Alice in Wonderland. Yes, it's cute. No, I don't want to stitch on it anymore. I just don't. I got this as a gift. Did I get it from a, as a gift? No, I think I bought it. I bought it from Adele. Adele Cat Stitches. Adele, where are you? Make a video. I miss your face. However, I'm getting rid of this. Thank you for sending it to me. I worked on this. I can't remember. I know I worked on this when I went to uh, Nashville Needlework Market this year. Um, I'm not sure if I've worked on it since then. So almost like a quarter of the way done, maybe. Mm -hmm. Half a half. Yeah, this is, yeah. So almost a quarter of the way done. I'm finished. This is on an opalescent 32 count even weave. It's beautiful. Someone else will really enjoy it. With all of the thread that the kit came with. Did I say it was from Pole Stitches? Pole Stitches takes these and um, kits that, excuse me, kits them with even weave instead of the Ada. Let's give up. That has not been started. Oh, look. Has not been started. Don't look at it. That has not been started. That has not been started. Oh, I was thinking about this one the other day. Barbie. Barbie. I can't show you all of it. Because I don't have it all printed. But this is a mystery stitch along. Um, the Oz sampler. This is what the first part looks like. Um, I know Garrett finished this. I don't know who else was stitching it. I'm definitely keeping this one because I really want to finish it. What am I, what I'm going to do with it, I don't know, but I love it and Barbie designed it. And like I said, there's some things you don't let go of because you love the people who designed it. So this is where mine is at. Part one is finished. I started on part two. I think the color changes were frustrating me, but I can do color changes now. I'm, I'm a wiser gentler stitcher and this fabric is from uh, Lucas when he started out this is one of the first ones he did it's a 28 count linen it's called I don't remember Arendelle I don't remember and I can't remember what Lucas's shop's name is something by Lucas hand dyed by Lucas I don't know. You guys know who he is. If you buy from him, I'm not even sure he's still in business. I'm going to say yes, but this was his. So that is a keeper. I wish I could remember what that was called. Because I'm using his fabric on another thing, and that fabric was called peanut butter and jelly. You'll get to see it. It's a keeper. How many have I gotten rid of? One, two, three, four, five, six. See? We oh, haven't even begun. That's empty. That I haven't started. That I haven't started. That I haven't started. That I haven't started. <laughs> Here's another one that I honestly don't think I'm going to keep. <laughs> and it's shameful to say it I don't have a picture of it oh my gosh do I not I'm using the digital download which is on my iPad that I am filming on um, oh here you can look at this this is um, Adam and Eve by Chatelaine I haven't even worked on this enough to say, but I don't like the fabric. And therefore, I never want to work on this. And so that's why I think it's a give up. <laughs> this is, this is what I have done.
there are some specialty stitches in here like the big leaves are um, black work and I think they're probably like in the lion's mane these look like um, Smyrna crosses or something like it is not a difficult piece I have to keep it I have to keep it and I need to find a different fabric for it and you know what today in the mail or maybe it was yesterday in the mail my hand dyed by Stephanie came in and it's this beautiful autumnal with pretty colors I'd show it to you but I can't I might change the fabric this is gonna be a keeper but not on this fabric I just this fabric is just wrong just wrong and I don't like it I can't I can't get rid of a chatelaine I can't quit on a chatelaine even though I legit have 50 stitches in it right you don't give up on chatelaines maybe you do I'm not gonna give up on that one quite yet I have to really put in an effort this is another one I'm getting rid of because I don't care anymore this is Brooks Books Advent Animals. Mm -mm. Like here's Duncan Dog. Here's Mary Mouse. I think I got two done. This is on a 16 count crystal helix from Picture This Plus. I have no desire. I will probably, I'll cut these out, even though they're really super tight. I'll have to figure out a way to finish them. Um, on like clipboards or something. Ooh, maybe pillow. They're so tough. They're so small. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to save them, but I'll try to save those two and the rest is a give up. And I don't even feel bad about it. Nope. 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 Don't feel bad about it. What I do feel bad about is my foot's falling asleep. Okay. This one I just worked on not too long ago. Giving it up. This is Art Deco Fox by Doreen Jones. Uh, Fiber Artsy Crystal. Crystal! Make a video. Miss you. She finished it. In her last video I think um, I worked on it at some point and I added in so I don't like this I don't like it I like the color of my fabric I hate the 14 count Ada it's I think if it were not like crunchy Ada I might like it more um, but I don't enjoy stitching this and this is what I find I don't enjoy stitching Doreen Jones things her stuff is gorge not for me. Too many back stitches, too many fractionals, uh, too many color changes. I, I like get grumpy. So that's a give up. Joan Elliott's Autumn Goddess. I have all four seasons of these. Mine is stitched on a cream even weave. I started it several years ago. I know I worked on it for magical stitches early on.
she's beautiful. She's beautiful. I need to, I need to work on her a little bit more before I decide. I'm going to keep her. I'm going to keep her. I'm going to keep her. Trisha, you keep her. You'll be disappointed if you don't. Okay. Um, this is one that I also have electronically, I believe. It is Lindy Stitches, Birds to the Bow. I'm definitely keeping it and I need to work on it soon. This is what I have done. I'm doing it with the called four colors. Um, it's beautiful. Well, except for where I screwed up the colors this one time, but that's okay. Um, this is a pink uh, under the sea fabrics called, is it Ain? Ain? Jewel? I think it was one of her like Miss Dyes. I think that's what her jewel fabrics are, but it's beautiful and great and I'm definitely keeping it because Stephanie from Lindy Stitches. Taste in. Okay. Uh -huh. uh. To, I'm never going to get through these. I'm never going to get through. Okay, this is Ship's Manor Beautiful Sea Stitch Along. I have all of his threads. Stitched on something from Under the Sea Fabrics. This is as far as I am. I don't enjoy stitching on this because um, I don't like 32 count opalescent fabric. 28 count opalescent okay. 32 count gets a little too much for me. Um, do you hear my kid calling me? I'll be right back. I'm not feeling this one anymore. I'm having a hard time letting go, but honestly, no, it's got to go. I have to give up. Ruthless. Death by cross stitch. That's great. Uh, ooh, I am stitching this on a 40 count white linen from Witch Out and using uh, Dinky Dye Silk, a hank, and I think it's called Poppin' Plum. I'm not stitching on it anymore. You all know what Death by Cross Stitch looks like, right? Because, you know, everybody was doing it for a minute. There it is. Death by cross stitch. No, thank you. No, thank you. I think I have a hard copy of that too. So this, oh, I've got two needle minders on here. I am sassy. I started in the bottom right hand corner. This is what I have on 40 count. One strand of silk over two. This is on 40 count. No, I'm not. And there are actually, it's not like it's, a, it's because it's a long dog. I have two others that I really want to start. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Death by cross stitch. You're going to give up. Oh, my bag just broke. It's a sign. Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, Fibery Friends. I started this a long time ago. Seriously, this is where I'm at. 28 count, pink something or other. This 
is what it looks like from way back here. It's upside down. Uh-uh. Give up. Not, not interested in that anymore. Sorry, pumpkins. Nope. Oh, it's another one. Uh, this is Satsuma Street Garden Cat. Just show you way back here. This is what it looks like. Oh, here's Satsuma Street Garden Cat hate this fabric. Why I've kept going is beyond me because I hate it. It's a 27 count super linen of some sort. This is where I'm at. And you know what? I'm pretty far. Uh -uh. Nope. I do not have the desire to stitch on stuff that I don't like. I started it before I had a lot of stash. Jim was terrible. Um, the fabric, I like the raw fabric. This would probably go good on that uh, 32 count raw linen that I'm using for my Chatelaine that I don't like. That's not it. Giant Harry Potter. Giant Harry Potter. Here's here's one that's not written on. Giant Harry Potter. <laughs> you all know what Giant Harry Potter looks like. I'm gonna keep this. It's definitely this is a labor of love because. I sure haven't worked on it in a long time. This is where I'm at. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep going. It's going to be huge. Stitched on 32 count sand castle Jobelin by Witch Elf mess. I'm going to keep going because I really do love it. Ooh. Look what I found. Don't even know what to do with that. Okay. All right. Let's grab another handful. another give up. Oh my gosh, am I being ruthless or what? This is the Lizzie Kate Green series. I love it. I don't think I like this fabric. I have all of the patterns with, it looks like, the buttons. And I printed off the border to go around them all. And this is where I'm at. Um, it's not necessarily the fabric that I don't like. It is because I chose to use DMC instead of the overdyed. And like this bush down here. It looks so much better in the overdyed. Oh, what am I gonna do? Guys, I do like it. I think it's so cute. It's so cute. I'm gonna have to keep it. Oh, I was all set to give it up, wasn't I? I even said it, but I need to keep it. Cause it's cute and it makes me smile, so. I guess that's a keeper. Okay. Mirabilia's Gypsy Queen. Stitching this on 
32 count opalescent buttercup from under the sea fabrics don't even know what way this goes we'll pretend it's this way this is all I have done so I'm gonna give up on that because this is 32 count right yes because I don't enjoy stitching on 32 count opal fabric so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do about that because I don't like the fabric in general but not stitching on it like that for sure this is happy everything by imaginating uh, Diane Arthur this is a give up Is what I have done. Mm -mm. This is a really cute pattern, but I don't have any desire to do all that backstitch. I'm not even mad about it. It's it's gonna be a give up. It's a give up. Okay. This is uh, Here Lie My Needles, a Shakespeare's Peddler. Definitely not a give up. I love this pattern. And it's been buried in my whip box, and that's a shame. Though I might have worked on this for Magical Stitches once. This is as far as I am. This is Picture This Plus Earthen. 32 count linen. I am using my own colors. What I did, I started this before I had, before I had as much thread stash. Thank you, Nestag. Uh, so what I did was I pulled the DMC conversion and then, my dog, I'm sorry. I pulled the DMC flosses and then pulled out my hand dyed threads and laid them side by side. So I don't think, yeah, like this, I have a thread works in there that wasn't called for, but I'm keeping that because I really do love this and now I'm really looking forward to getting back to it. Dog is barking. What? Watch your ears. Cover your ears, especially if you're wearing headphones. Lucy! Here she comes. Sorry. Okay. Oops, I haven't even gotten through these ones yet. Home of a quilter. Told in a garden. That's a give up. far. No. I like the idea, I guess. I'm not interested in having this as a whip anymore. That was a mania start. In the meadow. This is, I wonder if you saw my name tag on here. This is from Just Cross Stitch. Looks like, sep no, that's when my thing ended. December 2002. I started this in December 2002. And my dog ate it at the time. That was a whole different life. I only had one kid. I had a first husband. And I had a really large dog that I hated. I didn't hate her. She was so nice. Have I told this story? I feel like I've told this story. But for those of you that are new, short version. 
My husband and I decided we wanted a dog. We live in the city. We had no yard. We had no fence. We went to the Humane Society because that's what people do, right? I wanted to say responsible pet owners, but that's rude and judgy. You can get your animals where you want. I prefer to get shelter animals. So we went to the Humane Society. My husband was like, I want a big dog. We had never owned dogs before. I'm a cat person, but I'm like, I want, I want to get a dog. So I guess we're getting a big dog. So we ran across Sasha, who was an um, Alaskan Malamute Husky mix. She was eight months old. She weighed over 80 pounds. She was a beautiful dog. She cost like 30 bucks to adopt. And we went home with her. She was the naughtiest dog. One, no yard. Didn't know at the time that Malamutes are working dogs and Huskies are working dogs. So she was big. She was bored. She destroyed things. She was super smart. We were never home. We both worked full time. Did I mention we didn't have a yard? We didn't have a yard. Now, in our defense, the Humane Society people told me she would be fine as long as I walked her once a day. That was a bold-faced lie. So after working with her, taking her to obedience classes, really it just made me more obedient. We ended up giving her back after six weeks, I think. She ate my needle point, that, or my cross stitch, that was the point. I started this, and she ate it, and this is the surviving fabric, and I started it again, and you know what? I'm never going to do this. Like, it's never going to get done. I've been hanging on. I've been trying to finish it just so I can say that I did. You know, I don't care. I don't give a rip about this piece anymore. It's done. Like, I'm over it. Kind of. Yeah, I, yeah, no, this is done. We're done. This is a give up. I just got my steps in and I haven't stepped in a while. That's weird, right? Give up. This give up pile is so big. Look, you can see the top of it. Okay, next one. Little Sheep Virtues by Little House Needleworks. These are super cute. So I joined this group. Like here's one of them. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. I joined this group on Facebook where one of the ladies put in all of the little sheep virtues, excuse me, in one piece and then had this one in the middle. A little edited. What is this? Sheep in the Meadow. So I got the, the file for the layout, which is right here, and I'm not showing it because you have to join the Facebook group and ask for it. And then I started it with, I think, DMC, um, and then my fabric was super, like, sizey, so I washed the fabric and then... <laughs> Do I really want this on my wall? Do I really want to spend the time stitching all of these sheep virtues? Do I? Do I like them enough to do it? Do you see that grass? They're cute for like little ornaments, but I do I do not want this big piece. I just don't. So this project, as we know it, is a give up. And I will have to decide at a later date if I am gonna stitch those smalls even. Because they're cute, but really want to spend my time. Right now I say no. Now I say no. Oh. Mother's Arms Mirabilia. Practically a full coverage piece. Fell in love with it when I saw it. 
stitching it on a piece of white linen from Witch Owl. This is all I have done. I did decide to sub out the blending filament. There's two blending filament, I think, and this is a uh, number eight. Yeah, I'm gonna put that away. So I decided to sub out these two blending filaments. Can you see those? With two petite treasure braid, and I haven't decided what pink I'm gonna use yet. I'm hoping I like this better. I'm not ready to get rid of the pattern. I got the pattern really cheap on eBay. Like it was a steal. I think I paid 25 bucks for it, to be honest. It's a beautiful piece, but the fact that it's full coverage is a little daunting. But I'm going to keep it. I'm going to give it a go. Alright. One Nation from Bygone Stitches. Got all of the called for classic color works. And I'm stitching it on something. I have a lot done, so I guess I'm not going to give up on this. Um, I have no idea what the fabric is anymore. It's something Picture This Plus, possibly Legacy. Look how close I am to those margins. And my biggest disappointment for this is that... The fabric's really not dark enough for you to see the white letters. Unless you're right up close to it. Still, it's beautiful. I do love this. I'm not into patriotic stuff. Um, but when I started really working on this, I realized how much my father-in-law really was very patriotic, was super into the American flag. And so every time I stitch on this, I think about him. I don't know why he never saw this project, but I do. So got to keep that. And I've gotten a lot done on it. Okay. We're getting there. Uh... This is Courtney Collection Peacock, number 10. It's a give up. I'll tell you right now. This is one that I dyed the fabric for myself. I recorded it. I used a spray bottle technique. It's not a real technique. I just made it up. This is as far as I am. It's going to be a long one. I started this at the... Um, the first floss tube retreat in Austin. Mm -hmm. Yep, not gonna happen. Nope. Uh, this this isn't like Pelican. Like this is just lots of solid stitching, and I mean it's pretty, but it's I can't. So no. That's a goner. That's a goner. This is called Pretty Peacock. It was in a world of cross stitching and it is by Shannon Christine Designs. Right? I don't think it says, but I'm pretty certain it is. Uh, this is what the top looks like. It's got a lot of beads. It's very blingy. Um, there's also an owl that she released, I think, the next year. Here's a little bit of what it looks like. And it's a give up. There's what the peacock looks like right there. I can already tell you without looking at the fabric. That it's a give up. I have no desire to work on it. I've never had a desire to work on it. I just want it to be on my wall. That's all I have. 
I think it's on that it's on that crappy linen weave or linen weave <laughs> even weave no it's a goner it's a goner she might have it listed in her store her website um, I don't know how long the magazine keeps um, keeps a hold of it my legs are starting to hurt so I need to stretch out oh, just a little bit ah okay that has not been started this is a stitchy box no this is Smyrna's and Eyelets from Northern Expressions Needleworks and these were designs that you could buy they were like little tiles just to kind of get you going on some specialty stitches and I picked my own colors and I started I think there's a most I think those are all most sale and I hate it and I don't like it and I'm not gonna continue on it because I don't like it did I say that I don't like it so that is a give up these have not been started is a Quaker Christmas by Bygone Stitches. I enabled Emily of Eclectic Possessions to purchase this and start it and she has way more done on it than I do and also uh, Krisha from Krisha Crafts. I think I might have started this in Austin as well. I might have started this with Krisha. This is all I have done. I don't even know if that's right. I think it goes like this. <laughs> and I don't know what this fabric is, but it's amazing. It looks like an ex -Jew design. And I don't have a tag for it. Oh, yes, I do. Rocky Mountain. My ex -Jew design, and I'm using a green and red and gold silks for you. Um, floss. And I'm going to keep it. I think it's beautiful. So, that is a keeper. This my tag came off of. But this is definitely a keeper. This is Redbird Fractor by With I Needle, I'm pretty sure, Brenda Gervais. I purchased this with Tracy P. in Florida when my family was vacationing there and she and I got together for a little stitchy um, experience and lunch. It was wonderful. Someday I'll get back to Florida. Doesn't feel like it though, stupid job. Uh, and this is where I'm at. This is 32 count espresso, I believe, from r, &R. Or is it mellow? I'm pretty sure this is espresso. Heck if I know. This is where I'm at. I used it for magical stitches one time. It's kind of boring. But it's beautiful, and I still would really enjoy having that finished in my home. So that is a keeper. Huh. This is Save the Stitches from Elizabeth Almond. started this a long time ago and oh, it's so pretty oh I really wanted to hate it this is what I have done not even the first block but look it's 
so pretty. She's gonna be big. Oh, it's so pretty. I can't, I can't let go of this one. I want to, I wanna let go of it, but I can't. I just can't, it's so pretty. Maybe I'll work on it again soon. Yep, that, I've gotta keep it. I was really thinking I was gonna get rid of that, but I, I gotta keep, I gotta keep it. Okay, I gotta keep it. This one I don't though. This is the Scandinavian Christmas sampler. Oh, I've got a nail that's breaking. Scandinavian Christmas sampler from Jakob at I can't remember. I'll try to put it below. And this is as far as I am. I'm stitching it on this 28 count white Joblin with a red silk from Silks For You. And I don't like it. I don't like stitching this. It's not fun for me. And so it's going to be a give up. I wish I could remember what that place was called. I do this every time. So that is a give up and I will have a large hank of red silk to do something with. Sewing cats by Soda Stitch. I'm never going to stitch this. I'm never going to stitch this because kind of like Doreen Jones, I love soda stitch patterns. I mean, I sell them. I'm, I'm the U S distributor. I don't enjoy, I don't enjoy stitching them. Ah, this is on 32 count Joblin and Chloris from under the sea fabrics. That's all I have done. I'm not going to do it. Isn't this fabric clunky? I'm not going to do it. I know I'm not going to do it. So why do I keep trying? I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry, Adele. The sewing pussies are going to have to go away. They're a give up. I can't. I can't hold on to stuff I know I'm not going to do. Let it go, Trisha. Make like frozen. Let it go. This is the Seasons Change Stitch Along from Ship's Manor. I have all the flosses. And I've got this beautiful fabric from somewhere, and it's something. I'm sure it's under the sea fabrics. I have no idea what it is. That's all I have. It's beautiful. Um, I don't have a picture of what the whole thing looks like. Gosh, I hope I downloaded it all. I have to look into that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to give up on this. It's beautiful. It, it needs to be a give up. This is Snowy Owl Snowman from Jim Shore. Took the time to separate all my floss. This is what I have done. I don't 
I even like this guy? He had an owl. I'm not really into snowmen, and I'm giving him up. I'm giving him up. I don't, I don't need him. Give up. Give up. That is not started. That is empty. Okay. Okay. Oh, this one's going to be painful. I got something in my eye. Pardon, pardon me. Okay. Alessandra Adelaide Spring Butterfly. That's just a little part of it. Uh, Pyrex Stitches. I'm sorry, there's something on my face. My eyes are so itchy. It's like fall. This is fall allergy season for me. It's wicked. Um, Pyrex Stitches finished it and it's beautiful. This is on a 32 count something opalescent that I hate. But I really love the butterfly. And so I'm going to keep this. And I'm going to push through. I am stitching this with the called for DMC, I think. Um, what are white? M167, 3865. Yep. I'm going to push through. She's beastie. But I really love her. So the body is finished. All I have to work on are the wings. I think this is under the sea fabrics as you wish. I am betting. Okay. Hair. So I'm keeping that one, right? Yes. Spring Quakers by Rosewood Manor. I fell in love with these Quaker patterns. I really like Quakers. Um, I bought myself the Veldani threads. I've used the threads. Um, stitching this on a 28 count Jobelin in the color Time from Witch Out, which I love. And I have one Quaker done. I'm never, never gonna do these. I know I'm not. I didn't even notice that it had all the names of the flowers on there. I'm never gonna do this. Now, what I may do are minis. So I'm not just going to call this terrible. I will cut this and, and do a little ornament, like a little pillow or something. And like this one down here with these, I don't know if those are tulips or roses. I'm going to call them tulips because those are my favorite. I would make that for myself or for a friend. Um, and like this right here is beautiful. So I'm going to give up on the big project and say that maybe one of these smallers, I, smallers, one of these smalls I would do because there are some pretty cool smaller motifs that wouldn't be so frightening. That's what I'm going to do. So this is definitely, the project is a give up, but I'm going to keep everything to make some smalls. Uh oh. I have a lot of needles and needle minders when I'm done here. My eyes are itching. It's getting to be a big pile. Okay. This is a Mill Hill. It is Sugar Skulls. I purchased this to gift to my mom, to make a gift to my mom. I haven't gotten there. I have worked on it. And I miscounted somewhere. 
and it made me mad and plus it's off center and so I'm giving this up. I may restart it on actual fabric. I think I will enjoy stitching it on fabric better. So that is a give up and I do believe that it's full coverage so like the white that shows all that white is stitched. I can do that on a piece of fabric. Maybe some of that chorus that I'm going to get rid of. Uh -huh. So that is a key. Oh, wait, it goes in here. This is something I just started this year. It is the Swingin' Snowflake Stitch Along by Carolyn Manning. I don't have a picture of it, but it is skinny and cute. You're just going to have to trust me. You can search for it if you want to Google it. Swingin', S-W-I-N-G-I-N, apostrophe, snowflake. I'm stitching this on 32 count Joblin as you wish. And I have done part of the, I call it a branch, but I don't think it is part of the dowel, I guess, that the snowflakes hang from. I'm going to keep this because I think I've only worked on it for one day and that's not enough time to gauge. Keep that. Maybe we'll get in here. This is by Kathy Barrick. I think it's out of print now. Though you might be able to still find them on her website. Three Snakes in a Garden. No, Three Snakes in Paradise, that's what it's called. I purchased this when I went to Stitcher's Paradise in Las Vegas. My husband and I visited Vegas. It was my first time. I insisted on going to the cross-stitch shop. And so he came, obviously, with and hung out and chatted up the owner while I shopped. I purchased the NPI silks. They are sex on a string. This is as far as I am, and I am definitely keeping this piece. This is on a 32 count something or other that I purchased at Stitcher's Paradise. Uh, the whole inside of that is stitched. I am not doing that. No thanks. No thanks. So, yep. That is staying. I really need to finish that. Because I love it. Twisted Band Sampler by Northern Expressions Needlework. This is the specialty stitch version, and it's a give up. I, I like a challenge in my stitching, but I don't like getting irritated by my stitching. And this is all that I have done. And I'm definitely interested in doing the cross stitch version um, because I think it's beautiful. But I am not interested in doing the specialty stitch version. So... I will be giving up on that one. Ditching that for sure. This is the Jardine Privé Free Stitch Along The Way to Happiness. I mentioned it earlier. I uh, can't show you. can't show you what it looks like. But you'll recognize it when you see this, I think. I have the first part done. And I have one word for the second. It's a quick stitch. I need to just work on it. 
This is a 28 count linen in peanut butter and jelly from Fabrics by LJ. That's what it's called. Fabrics by LJ. That's a keep. This is another Brenda Gervais. Called Needle and Thread. I purchased this from Moe's Needle and Thread in Portland, Michigan when I went. That's my LNS. I've been there twice because I'm a terrible patron. Maybe three times. It's also a quilt shop, so I did drag my quilter friend there once. Uh huh. This, I think the last time that I actually worked on this was right before I had my carpal tunnel surgery a couple years ago. So she definitely is being kept and she needs some love. This is on a 36 count mellow. I'm pretty sure this is mellow. I picture this plus. 36 count mellow. Yep. And I'm doing it with all the called for over dyed threads. She big girl. Like that's a whole lot of skirt. Um, stitching with one strand because that is my preference for 36 count. It's one over two. So she's a keeper. Oh, the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Will you be my neighbor? It's far away. This is what it looks like. I have the whole bottom done. It's on that crappy pink linen. And the top is two sheep and trees and a barn and people. And I'm giving it up. I don't want to. I don't want to. I just have no, I mean, I like it because it's, you know, I like to knit and stuff and it goes with that. Nope. I don't want to. Okay. And the last for my big tub is Carriage House Samplings a year at Hawk Run Hollow. Also purchased at Moe's. I do like this a lot. It's a lot of work. Excuse me, I'm getting tired. We've been here forever. This is all I have done. Uh... It's so pretty though. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Maybe I can just give it some real love. Do you think? I don't know. Okay, so now we're going to get into some more recent stuff, I think. Most definitely. Like this, these have my cheaters in them. So this is Deer House. The Carriage House Samplings. I just showed this recently in a um, update. My pattern is getting really horrible. I'll be giving that one away. And I'm not going to take it out of the Q-snap, but this is where I'm at. I don't remember from last time. I'm definitely keeping this because I want to get this done. Stitched on a 28 count Joblin. I think it's called Stormy Gray using the called for General Art and DMC. And it's in a Delicious Threads Harry Potter bag. All right. This is, oh, this is, um, 
I just recently showed this too. This is Jardine Privé's um, ABCs of Embroidery. This is what it looks like. I just started this, so I'm definitely going to keep it. I'm stitching it on a 25 count... Um, 25 count witch alt even weave I don't remember what it's called and I'm using my own colors so that is a keeper these will probably all be keepers because I've worked on them recently oops this this I haven't shown anybody yet. Well, that's not completely true, but I know I haven't shown it on Instagram either. Uh, the Blue Flower Night Walk Down. With my last Floss 2 video, I had shown this and said that I have them in my Etsy shop. I think I still have a copy or two, so you should go get it. Um, I started mine a couple weeks ago. I've not been stitching a lot, but this is what I've gotten done. I'm using almost all of the called for colors. And this is on Hand Eyed by Stephanie Hocus Pocus. Ah, duh. Duh. If I could just pull that off my Lowry before I came in here. So I don't need to do much for that. Uh huh. Lizzie Kate, Spirit of Christmas Mystery Sampler. If you don't want the mystery spoil, don't look at it. Okay, I'm showing it. This is what it looks like. This was from a year or two ago. I got the kit. It came with their new, whatever their new fabric is, Heartland. It's not new anymore, but it was new then. And this is what I have done. So all of clue one and a start on clue two. I will keep this. I would like to get that done. Though for a minute I really thought I was going to give this one up. But I'm going to keep it. This. Nothing has been started on. This. Just worked on this recently. Uh, Felice Navidad by Blackbird Designs. I just worked on this at my quilt retreat. I don't remember if I recorded before or after my quilt retreat, but this is where I'm at so far. This is on a 32 count properly primitive from Under the Sea Fabrics. It is one of my favorite fabrics of all time, and I really need to buy some more of it. Definitely keeping this one. I love it so much. Oh, all right. This is, I don't have a picture of it to show you. This is my Floss Tube Retreat New Jersey small or pattern that I'm um, stitching, it's on a 40 count, so I'm stitching over one, no, over two with one, and this colorful uh, thread is a silk that Ingeborg brought. So I love it, and it means a lot. So I'm definitely gonna keep that, and I hopefully will finish it before the next Jersey retreat, which, I would really like to go to next year. I need to get with Arlene and make sure I know when that is. This is Moon Dance by Kathy Barrick. Also, I think uh, discontinued at this point. I started this with Abby Topknot. She's way farther than I am. Basically, I started it and then just stopped. But this is where I'm at. I'm going to keep this. 
I need to work on it some more. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. It's on a picture of this floss 32 count fog, I believe. Put this somewhere. Okay, uh, this is, I'm just going to show you the first, well, I'll show them all to you. This is uh, Country Cottage Needleworks Welcome to the Forest. It was an auto ship. This is the one that I have done, but these are other ones, and I have been thinking about this one for a while, and I really want to work on it. I have all of the called for classic color works. Died. Well, I over dyed the fabric. This was a piece of Jobelin that I didn't like. <laughs> I think it was from Witch Elt. It was really bright and I didn't like it, so I coffee and tea dyed it and it's perfect now. And this is what I have done. It's very cute. So I need to. Uh, it smells good too. So I need to get back to this because I do want to finish it. The needle stabbed me. So that is a keeper. I wonder if there's anything in here I'm going to get rid of. This one's in serious danger that I'm looking at. This is the Clouds Factory Zodiac calendar. It was a mystery stitch along several years ago. This is what I have done. 16 count Ada in Gothic. I don't think I'm ever going to do anything with this. What am I ever going to do with this? Would I make it into a book bag? I don't know, maybe. I don't know. I've still got, I've got to think about it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Because if I have to think that hard about getting rid of it, then I probably shouldn't get rid of it right away. Oh, goodness. This is Mirabilia Tree of Hope. Definitely holding on to this one because I love it. stitching it on a 32 count something 32 count Jubilee and Nocturne from Picture This Plus this is only as far as I am but I love it this will probably take me the rest of my life but I'm going to do it it's beautiful definitely a keeper Plum Street Samplers Paradise Lost. This might be out of print too. Took me a while to find it. Um, I first saw this on Garrett Coffee Stitcher's channel. He pulled it out not too long ago. This is what I have done on mine. Last time I worked on it, I finished this guy and I worked on the tree. Definitely a nursing home project. I mean, let's just look at what I've gotten done here. This. <laughs> just for some clarity. That's what I have done. That's what that is. It's on a 32 count, just cream, even weave. I enjoy working on this, so I'm definitely not going to give that one up. It's getting a little crazy over here. My keep pile's getting big. 
have this is Death of Susanna Jane. I don't know. I don't have the official pattern because I know people, so I might have gotten it a little bit sooner. Um, that's what it looks like. Definitely keeping this. Definitely need to work on this. I'm stitching this on a 32 count silk weaver called Days Gone By. Fitting, isn't it? For a headstone. This is as far as I am. I need to really look at the colors that she charted because when I got my copy of it, she hadn't decided on colors yet. So I was just kind of using my own and I think that's really what's tripping me up. Sometimes I just can't be that clever. I need to copy. I, I need to do what I'm told. This is Sarah Davis Clonmel, which I'm working from my iPad, so you're not going to see that. And I've fallen woefully behind with my stitch along with Garrett. We were supposed to be doing a border row and a letter row a month, and I haven't worked on it in months. But this is it, and I'm still keeping it. I'm not giving up on this because I do enjoy working on it. Maybe I'll pull that out soon. I love stitching letters. Do you guys like stitching letters as much as I do? No? I must be crazy. I don't want this one anymore, I don't think. Peacock Majesty. Out of print, just Nan. I got it on eBay as a kit comes with the called for fabric and then there were a lot of um, substituted fabrics. I, I like this. My problem is that the embellishment packs, the embellishment pack wasn't included. It was all subbed in by somebody or another shop. And it's not the same. It's not the same. I don't like it as much, especially with the blending filament. Mm -mm. So the stuff that they chose was really chintzy and gross. I shouldn't say that. Blending filament, like none of this is in here. Like this was chosen. And I don't even know what this is. Uh, blending filament. Very frying braid. And I feel like maybe if I went through, like here is very fine braid number 4221. Like none of it is what's called for. I, have I even shown you the picture? So I think... I did show you just Nan. What I need to do, here's what I have so far. And I subbed in this silk on my own and I switched out some of the colors to be close. I think what I need to do is actually look at the pattern and get the right materials and then maybe I would like it better or I just need to calm the F down and get it done. I think that the specialty stitches are making me nervous too. The next thing that I have to do it looks like are ABCD satin slash Algerian eyelets. Those are not hard. Why is that so scary for me? I gotta keep this. It'll be really pretty when it's done, right? Somebody just tell me it's not that difficult. If you've finished it, leave me a comment and let me know that it's not that big of a deal to put on my big girl panties and make that happen. I guess I'm gonna keep it. I really thought I was gonna give that one up too, but I talked myself right out of it. This 
is a Nora Corbett. It is Gwen from the Bewitching Pixies line. I'm stitching mine on 32 count desert sand, which actually I think is what it's called for. Nope, milk chocolate is called for desert sand closing off. And I have the entire dress done other than beads. The last time I worked on this was this past winter. So like January, February. And I'm determined that she's going to be the first Nora slash Mira that I finish. So I guess she has to stay. This is Barnwood Buttons by Rosewood Manor. I have started this on this picture. This, no, this is a Ship's Manor Prim, August Prim, 32 count, doesn't have a name other than August Prim. And I started it at the bottom. This, just so you know, this is reading super bright green. It is not this bright green. It is way more dark, like a forest dark green. But we get what we get with the light. So, yeah, it just shows bright. I am stitching this with bamboo from Classic Color Works because that is what I had called for I believe is linen from Weeks Dye Works. Let me look. Floss, linen, five skeins. So here's the thing. I thought bamboo would be fine, but I purchased the buttons and the buttons look darker than the floss. So you can't tell, which is a shame. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to be able to continue with the bamboo. And that's another reason why I haven't worked on this because I was kind of coming to that conclusion. This doesn't look like it would take very long. I mean, look. But I need the white to not be so stark white. So I think what I'm going to do is restart this. I'm going to rip out those stitches and I'm going to use the Weeks Dye Works linen. I know I have some. I don't have five skeins of it, but I can get it. And I'm going to do it right because I spent a buttload on those buttons and I need it to be good. So I'm going to put that in the give up, but really it's a restart eventually. This, I just started a couple months ago. It is the Speak to the Earth sampler by Cooler Designs. I love it. It's definitely not going anywhere. I'm trying to find a better picture of it, but I might not have one. Yes, yeah, sure I do. There it is. You can purchase this on the Cooler Designs website at coolerdesigns.com. It's right there if you need to write that down. I don't remember how much it was, but it was reasonably priced because if it was too expensive, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. And I am stitching it. Hopefully that fabric is tagged. It is um, on a hand dyed by Stephanie. Lugana in Sorbet. Oh, 
Oh my God, I love this. I need to get back to it. Let me. Doing a little bit of, doing a little parking action because I got to the edge of my page. So 32 Cal Lugana in Sorbet from Hand Dyed by Stephanie. Those letters are one over one, uh, 32 count. This is freaking fabulous. I just swore I'm so sorry, but I love it so much. Why am I not working on this? <gasps> Those one over one letters got me. So that is definitely not going anywhere. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Sorry for the swear. I lost my mind for a minute. My unicorn. The one that I wanted for so long. Adam and Eve by Perman. Re released by Witch Owl in a kit. There are two, I believe, in my Etsy shop. Go get them. They come with the fabric, the floss, and the chart. So, obviously, I kept one of the kits. It's my unicorn. But I didn't want to use the fabric or the floss. So, or I'm sorry, I didn't want to use the floss. I didn't really want to use the fabric. Um, so I got this navy blue from, navy blue silk from Silks For You. And I started it on the fabric that came with the kit. I need to not. Because Michelle Cozy had told me, don't do it. So this is a 32 count linen from Witch Out. I don't enjoy working on it. I'm using two strands of silk. Um, and Michelle said, you're going to be working on that forever. Choose a fabric that you love. So I need to choose a fabric that I love. The problem is, is that this fabric is huge. So I need to choose a fabric that I love that's huge. I think I might like this better on a Joblin or an Even Weave. So I will find something. Um, I'm going to keep it in my whips, but I'm definitely going to change out that fabric and I want to do that sooner than later. In fact, where are my barn buttons? I'm going to keep those. This is my barn buttons. I'm going to keep those together because I need to get new supplies for those. There is nothing in these. We might be at the end, folks. Yep. This is the Stiachalong 6, I think. It was for last year's home is where the, I don't like it. Home is where the, it's as far as I got. I was using the DMC Etoile. What am I going to do with this? 32 count, picture this plus ancient. I'm probably just going to cut it and get rid of it. It was fun. I really didn't care for it. So, that's a give up. And what appears to be the last one, if you're still hanging in. This is like an hour and forever. This is Heartstring Samplery Coffee Quaker. Definitely not a give up. Though I wish I wasn't stitching this on 40 count. I will definitely say that. First I do the coffee, then I do the things. There was a big stitch along. Everybody and their brother was stitching it. I started it. Start together, finish never. Um, I am stitching this on 40, I'm farther than I thought, 40 count metal rue. And this is where I'm at. I 
need to get on this. I've been thinking about this one for a while too and thinking it's time, Trisha. It's time to get it together. But this 40 counts so tiny. It's okay. Definitely going to keep that one. So that didn't shock me that I didn't get rid of it. Oh, here's one more. I didn't get rid of any of those because they were all the ones that are next to my stitchy spot right now. Um, because I love them and want to work on them. The last one is the Santa I started for the Christmas in July stitch along. And Sim Swink and I started together. And look, there's an extra whisper. W88, W88. Isn't that funny? Because I lost one. And I got. Looks like I decided to stitch in hand. So Jill and I are stitching this Prairie Schooler Santa together. We started July 1st. Christmas in July I said that and I stitched just a cuff and a little bit of a furry lapel before I decided that I wanted to use a wool for those so I stopped stitching I ended up getting the wool which is shaker white and I haven't worked on it since I'm a big fat loser but that's okay Am I going to use that? Maybe I was going to use Butter Crunch. Looks like I, oh, I'm not using Shaker White. I think I'm going to use, I think I'm using Butter Crunch. These are my choices. And definitely Ragdoll looks like the one right now that's the closest, doesn't it? Heck if I know. It's so whatever one shows up on the fabric. And Shaker White is too blendy. I'll figure that out another time. That's it. So, I'm not going to count how many whips I have left. But let's count how many whips I got rid of. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's more than I thought. Eleven, twelve. 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28 stitches ditched. I feel so good. I'm probably just for fun gonna count um, how many whips I have left and I'll put it up here but I won't make you watch me so 28 whips down I'm feeling really good thank you for watching this ditch the stitch um, I would definitely encourage anybody who has a lot of stuff and is feeling overwhelmed and maybe just thinks, you know, oh, I might just not want to do this anymore. Sit down with your stuff because there are definitely pieces here that I really want to work on now. And there were just pieces that I was not feeling. And that's okay because it's a hobby and nobody died. Right? So thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have an amazing stitchy weekend. And that you're doing all of the crafting that your little heart desires. Stay stitchy. And I will see you guys later. Bye.